Hello and welcome everyone. My name is Vivek Pandari. Um, I'm, I'm responsible for product management at Aereo and Security. And in the next few minutes, I will walk you through an overview of who we are uh, and what we do and how we effectively preempt phishing attacks uh, across all traffic segments. So let's get straight into it. If you look at all the threats and the different flavors of threats that we are dealing with today, whether we are uh, you know, large organizations, small organizations, different types of traffic, but all these different threat flavors, whether it's ransomware, spoofing, business compromise emails, watering hole attacks, all these different attack types, they're all effectively underneath the covers phishing attack that we're having to deal with. And phishing is the root cause through which a lot of these threats are coming at us. Uh, and why phishing is so important is because Phishing is responsible for almost every major breach, big and small, that we have heard about, right? Uh, all the major breaches that we have heard through the last few years, whether it is the big ones like Target and Sony and more recently Yahoo, uh, or a lot of the smaller ones that we see in the news regularly, effectively a lot of the root cause for most of these is phishing. Uh, and the reason why it is is because a very cleverly crafted Target phishing email has a very high probability, over 90%, of getting its target user to take action on that phishing attack. Uh, and that's why these are very dangerous and very successful. Uh, the phishing attacks effectively that are coming at organizations are coming across various different traffic vectors. They're coming across the web traffic as users browse the web. Sometimes users end up on compromised sites uh, or sites, you know, we have things, you've seen things like malvertising where drive by download malware or a malicious ad will download malware on the user's machine. Uh, email is one of the primary spears for phishing attacks and certainly general network traffic that's going across the edge uh, where you might have an infected endpoint that's communicating with the, the attacker's infrastructure. Now, we look at all these phishing attacks and we look at the headlines and we see that despite all the defenses we are putting in place today, these attacks continue to get through and be successful. Uh, some of the more recent headlines that have been associated with phishing have been around uh, US W-2 tax information that's getting leaked out from several organizations. I think uh, if you look through the Jan, Feb, March timeframe, there have been several dozen episodes where W-2 information has been leaked out because somebody acts as an imposter reaching out to the right person within an organization requesting W2 information and that it gets sent out because the person is trusting the sender uh, and that that is the root cause, the trust is the root cause where these phishing attacks become successful. Uh, even credential harvesting sites where people you know put in their uh, popular credentials for sites like Google or Yahoo or other popular platforms uh, those are very effective ways for hackers to gain access to our critical accounts. We have seen that being very successful, some of the accounts like Sean Podesta, Colin Powell, even the DNC attacks uh, that we have heard of recently during the uh, presidential election. A lot of those attacks were successful uh, leveraging the Google credential harvester techniques. So these attacks keep getting through. And uh, what we are seeing is that the existing defenses that we are putting in place are not being able to stop these phishing attacks from getting through. Uh, the anti-spam filters on the email security platforms, uh, while they do a great job of stopping the annoying spam and the uh, high volume commodity threats, they are unable to really stop the low volume phishing emails from getting through. Uh, user education helps raise awareness, but uh, with the, the way the attacks changing constantly, it is unrealistic to expect that user education, we can solve the problem through user education. Uh, and lastly, legacy defenses and you know, new perimeter defenses, while they're effective in the use cases that they deliver, uh, they are unable to stop these phishing attacks from getting through, uh, just the way you know, these phishing attacks evolve and change rapidly. Um, to better understand how we address these phishing attacks, let's take a look at how uh, the phishing attacks really work. Hackers are humans too, right? So these guys, uh, if you look at the overall attack timeline, hackers need time to plan and execute the, the different phishing campaigns. And that planning process and research and, on, and reconnaissance on the target can last several days to several months. Uh, so that's the early stages of the attack. The actual delivery of the attack happens very quickly, whether it's a user getting infected when they visit a, a compromised website, 
or uh, they open an attachment on an email trusting it's a good sender or they click on a link. So that sort of an attack delivery is fairly quick. And then once uh, the attack successfully gets deployed, uh, it can proliferate in the network and it can sometimes take several months for the attack to get discovered. In fact, uh, a lot of the breaches that we will probably hear about in the coming weeks and months have already happened. And then as organizations discover and clean up the breaches, we'll probably hear about some of those. The other aspect of uh, phishing attacks is uh, attackers need infrastructure. They need proxy infrastructure, compromised infrastructure to launch these attacks from. Uh, and the third aspect of it is they're launching these attacks through various different traffic segments that we have talked about to go after the target. Now, the way Area 1 effectively addresses the phishing challenge is focusing on all these aspects of the, the phishing attack life cycle. Uh, we focus really on the early stages of the attack, while most of the solutions that we have in place today in the industry are focused on the customer edge or within the network to identify bad behavior or malicious activity already in the network. Area 1 focuses on very early stages of the attack out in the wild uh, to really bring in that preemptive status of uh, being able to stop these attacks very early on. So the focus is early on when the attackers are doing research and reconnaissance on the targets when they're setting up the infrastructure. Uh, and the way we do it at Area 1 is uh, by really deploying our active sensors to proactively hunt uh, and discover a lot of these phishing infrastructure and campaigns as they're getting launched by the, by the attackers. And then we effectively stop these phishing attacks uh, regardless of whatever traffic stream it's coming through, whether it's incoming emails, whether it is users browsing the web or it's general network activity that's traversing uh, traversing your edge. Let's take a deeper look at you know how Area One successfully is able to identify the phishing uh, campaigns, the phishing infrastructure very early on, and then take actions to automatically stop these from getting uh, into your networks. Uh, at the core of the technology is what we call as active sensors. Active sensors are comprised of two key components. Uh, one is the high-speed internet crawler, which effectively is repeatedly crawling the whole internet several times a month, uh, and some of the sites and locations get crawled even at a higher frequency. Um, we are doing well over uh, 9 billion pages every single time we do a sweep of the internet. And what that really does is, as infrastructure is getting stood up uh, by the attackers or as new phishing campaigns are getting launched, we discover them in a matter of seconds and minutes sometimes. Uh, the other aspect of the active sensors are globally deployed, strategically located, what we call as network sensors, uh, which a lot of the times are deployed close to where the attackers are launching their campaign from. And that gives us very deep context on the attackers themselves uh, and the campaigns, whom are they going after and by what means they're going after the targets. Um, and that gives us you know, ways to sort of you know, create new patterns through which we can search the entire internet with our crawler. Uh, we, we basically collect all the information with the help of the active sensors and distill it uh, in our cloud platform using all modern day analytic tools uh, and uh, platforms and solutions like machine learning, artificial intelligence, neural nets. Uh, all of that is applied within our sparse engine. And then from there, we effectively create actionable solutions that are fully automated for our customers to stop the phishing attacks uh, by, you know, uh, uh, st stop the attacks from getting through in your environment. Um, the, the product itself uh, that is packaged up with all the capability is, is the, called Area 1 Horizon. That's the product portfolio name. And within Area 1 Horizon, we have three levels of capabilities. Uh, at the core is View, which effectively we'll talk about here. So at the, uh, in View, effectively, customers get a chance to view all the global phishing campaigns deep insights on certain threat actors, whether they are nation state actors or general criminal actors. Um, and that, that's all detailed within our product portal. Uh, above view then comes Fortify. Fortify effectively includes view, but now it starts bringing automated action platforms that the customers can leverage. In Fortify, we effectively integrate with your existing security infrastructure, whether it's your proxies, your firewalls, uh, or your existing SIM infrastructure, your DNS infrastructure. We effectively fortify those existing defenses with Area 1's early discovery of phishing rules and phishing campaigns. And that helps you stop any clicks or any traffic uh, from going to that phishing infrastructure. And the last bit here is extend. 
Extend allows you to extend your security defenses using Area One Cloud. This is where we offer our cloud-based security services, uh, things like incoming email detection, uh, the DNS service, and many other things that you can leverage uh, to stop the phishing attacks across, again, all your traffic segments. So that's effectively how Area One Horizon uh, is packaged up as a solution for our customers to leverage. And the idea here is to really change the outcomes. Uh, preemptively stop the phishing attacks from getting through because phishing attacks are the root cause of all the breaches uh, and stopping these phishing attacks across all traffic segments, whether it's email, uh, stopping the, the low volume phishing emails, uh, or it's stopping that click uh, or the user from visiting a fake website or a uh, you know, general phishing website, or stopping any endpoint in your network from communicating with an actor's infrastructure. So that's how we effectively do it. The way to think about this is um, you know, very similar to how vaccinations work in the medical world. If you look at the history of vaccination, um, in the late 18th century, we had somebody by the name of Edward Jenner who was able to successfully inoculate a young boy uh, against the smallpox virus. And uh, you know, all the work that came out from that, all the derivative work that came out from that completely changed the game uh, for the humankind where we were able to successfully deal with a lot of these devastating diseases like uh, polio and uh, measles and you know all of these diseases. So vaccination became a very effective tool and uh, the reason it was very effective was very early on you identify the diseases that are bad and you inoculate the, the target. And that's effectively what Area 1 does is identifies phishing campaigns and infrastructure very early on and then effectively beefs up your defenses to stop any phishing activity from ever sort of communicating with the with the infrastructure. Um, now, to give you a good example of one of the customers that's leveraging Area One to stop the uh, phishing attacks from getting through, uh, this is a very large global organization, Fortune 500 company, a very large consumer goods brand. Uh, they were dealing with challenges where they were getting a lot of phishing attacks coming in at their executives, and they were really worried about data loss inadvertent financial transactions and, and in general brand erosion. Um, and so they were able to deploy the Area 1 solution that, that basically spanned all their traffic for the incoming emails, uh, for their web traffic, and in general across the firewalls as well. And they saw the phishing attacks dramatically drop where within the first four weeks of deployment, they were able to effectively stop over 151,000 uh, different traffic you know, that was going out to the phishing infrastructure. Uh, so the order on that has been very powerful and very quick for the customer. Uh, and this is this is a great example how of how customers are using our solution. So that's in uh, really what what A1 does is preempts fitting phishing attacks uh, very early in the attack lifecycle across all traffic. Uh, and we do that via our own cloud platform and services as well as via automated integrations with your existing security infrastructure. Um, you know, if you have any questions, certainly you can uh, put it in the chat window here on this webcast, or you can uh, email me directly uh, on that email address provided there. Um, you can also, if you want to quickly test out some of our capabilities, uh, if you want to submit some of your fishes, missed fishes that are coming in at your environment that your existing defenses are not catching, you can submit that uh, uh, fish or any multiple fishes to that email address that you're seeing on your screen. And we'll be happy to sort of provide, run it through our detections and give you a response uh, on those submissions. Um, again, I appreciate you taking the time to listen to this webcast. Hopefully that was useful. Uh, I'll look through the questions here that might have come in on the window and address any. I see a couple of questions here, so let me take those real quick. And for anything that I'm not able to get through today, I'll certainly follow up over email. Uh, so the first question is really related here to you know how do you do how to do an evaluation of the of the platform and the product? That's a great question. So the evaluation to do with Area One is actually very simple and easy from a customer perspective. Uh, the easiest way you can do it is start off by sending your missed fishes directly to a dedicated email address, and you will run it automatically through our detections and give you a response. Uh, the, the other ways you could do it is we can effectively run uh, against all your logs uh, in your sim environment or your firewall or proxy logs and tell you how much of the traffic that's still going through we would have identified and blocked. Uh, so that's an easy one to do. And then finally, you can certainly put area one in line of your traffic, whether it's your email traffic or web traffic, 
for a period of a month or so and see how we are able to effectively identify additional phishing traffic that might be going across your edge. So that's that's how we you know we can do evaluation. That's we've got flexible options that that uh, can work for any environment, and we'll be happy to work with you on uh, whatever works best for you. There's another question here that uh, that's related to which platforms uh, we actually can integrate with. Um, that's another great question. So as part of the Fortify offering, we can integrate with most of the major platforms there, uh, which includes web proxy solutions. Uh, firewalls, next generation firewalls, all the popular SIMs that are in use, DNS infrastructure, uh, we effectively can integrate with all of those solutions uh, to, to make sure that we can stop uh, the phishing attacks with our early discoveries. In addition to that, certainly you know, our cloud platform can process your incoming traffic, whether it is incoming email. Uh, we can sit in line and tag emails that we see as phishing, uh, or we can also sort of provide you our DNS service that will allow you to um, you know, stop any click-throughs going from any uh, to any phishing sites. So that's uh, that's effectively how we offer integrations in the service. So with that, we'll wrap up the webcast for today. Thank you again for taking the time. Have a great day.